When it comes to ARK, building in caves is essential for survival on PvP servers, so we proudly present Top 10 Caves on ARK Survival Evolved. What's going on guys, it's the Outcast, and welcome back to another video. We got in a few suggestions for this video, and I was like, hey, for new players, you guys really need to know where the best caves are and how to build in them. This video does not show how to fully build in them, but we may be doing full base to, uh, designs in the future for these caves, so make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and then hit that notification bell so you're not missed if we do one of those or not. But anyways, if you guys are new, don't forget to leave a like. And leave some feedback down below. Anyways, let's get right on to the video. Coming at number 10, this is Ice Cave. This can be found at 29.1 latitude and 38.8 longitude. And this can be found on the island. And just to let you guys know, these are not ranked, by the way. So these are all just basically compiled into one. So don't worry about, you know, skipping ahead because they're all ranked differently, if that makes sense. But I will be giving this cave a rating. So I would probably rate this cave... A 7 out of 10 because of the layout of it the, the worst thing is the entrance that is the biggest thing that throws everything off this little area right here is amazing because if you build this right you will have an amazing turret wall basically making it impossible to raid and then right here is another huge area where you can defend the cave a lot I went ahead and did a like three-sided turret wall on that if you guys didn't check out my last video but the biggest reason why this cave is actually on this list is because of the amount of space that there is at the very bottom of the cave. It is a little awkward, there's a lot of very high level dinosaurs that you need to kill, and you need to maintain uh, killing them or else they could actually take over your dinos and kill them all. So you need to be careful about that part. There's three separate entrances down to this bottom part, but if you block them off right, no one's even gonna touch the other two, which means that they're just only gonna go for the one because they're, they're gonna need that ramp to get up and down. This is the whole main area right here. It's a little awkward of a build, but if you use cliff plats and all that, it should work out really good. Anyways, let's move on to number nine. Coming at number nine, this is the Ruins Cave on the center. This can be found at 41.9 latitude and 56.6 longitude. And as you guys can see, if you're not familiar with this cave, it is a little tricky to find, so I actually went out and it is the ruins in the middle of jungle mids. And then you come up here and it's a little tricky to find if you're new to this cave, but if not, it's pretty easy to find this thing i will be rating this cave a 5 out of 10 and here's why the entrance is uh, it's it's uh, like amazing it's really easy to defend if you build it right you can build a huge cage around it and make it very hard to work with but the, the biggest issue is look at this there's a lot of weak spots on the inside um that is the biggest area is the water area but you can do sarcos or some kind of dino in there to kill uh flak runners if they do fall in there and then another huge issue is the area back here there is not a lot of room for building, which is why this is going to be a 5 out of 10. But anyways, let's move on to number 8. Coming at number 8, this is the Pearl Cave on the center, and this can be found at 15.6 latitude and 50.3 longitude. I'm going to go ahead and rate this cave a 8 out of 10, just because I've built in this cave many, many times on official and unofficial, and this cave works really well for both of them actually. Official is amazing, unofficial is even better. Just the biggest issue that I do see with this is it's not big enough for turret limit. So with the hunter turret limit, it is hard to cover this room, especially this room right here. This room is not easy to work with with the hunter turret limit. But trying to, to, to uh, lay this cave out is a little bit difficult because you have to space your turret walls and stuff so far away because of how the cave system is built. It's hard to work with. But if you see all this thing right here, if you fall down, what I like about this is you cannot get up to the main area. You actually have to go all the way back, so I like that a lot. This is another huge area. This is why it's the 8 out of 10. Look at the amount. If you can, if, if you guys know how to build this thing right, you will have an insane amount of dino storage or a huge incubating area. You have a huge water breeding area right there too. And there's only one entrance, and here's the thing. You don't even really have to defend this part that much because no one's going to go raid it. And then you come over here, and there's an entire another side of the cave back here it's a very long ways back 
but once you get all the way back it is an amazing spot and you can build another huge platform put your main base in the middle which is what i did the best part about this cave is you have a little water area so they have to go underwater to get in there which if you guys know rock golems they all sink to the bottom so that actually helps a lot with this if you guys know how to build that right to defend from rock golem soaking and stuff but this is why this is an 8 out of 10 let's move on to number 7. Coming at number 7, this is Crouch Bear Cave, which can be found on the center, and this can be found at 26.1 latitude and 64.8 longitude. And I'm going to go ahead and rate this cave a 9 out of 10. Yes, you heard that, a 9 out of 10. This cave is just insane to me because of the amount of room that there really truly is in this cave. If you're looking at it right now, there is just so much stuff to work with. The ground is a little bit angled, so it's a little difficult to work with. But if you get the foundations laid out right, it is amazing. And then a lot of people don't know about this, but back here there's actually a little hidden compartment where you can actually build stuff. And I use that a lot for my servers that I go to play on. But the biggest thing about this is the entrance. If you know how to build that right, it'll work amazingly. But anyways, let's move on to number 6. Coming at number 6, we have Triple Waterfall on Ragnarok. This can be found at 28.2 latitude and 48.2 longitude. I'm going to go ahead and rate this cave a 6 out of 10. And here's why. There's two entrances to the cave and that is a pretty big issue because if you see this is actually built out it's sort of in the open in a way. So it makes it a little bit harder to defend especially on the bigger entrance that one's a little harder to work with. But it is also only transparent one way meaning that the people raiding you cannot see in to see what the turret wall looks like so I like that a lot. But the, the biggest issue that I see with this cave is the other entrance. The other entrance is laid out very awkwardly. It is hard to work with. This little spike thing right there, yeah, that's another huge issue because that thing gets in the way when trying to work with building a base. So I do not like that. But anyways, there's a lot of good things about this. Like this is a very flat inside of the cave. You have your water breeding. You can do a ton of stuff. It's not too hot or too cold or anything. But that's why I've rated that a six out of 10. Let's move on to number five. Coming at number 5, this is Lava Cave, and it can be found on Ragnarok also. This is right next to the Scar, by the way. It can be found at 19.4 latitude and 65.4 longitude. I'm going to go ahead and rate this cave a 7 out of 10, just because of how dark that this cave can actually get when raiding it, so it makes it a lot harder, and because of the lava, of course. If you're trying to raid this thing and somebody has it built on the path, basically, you have to follow the path to raid the base. That's a huge thing because if you have reapers or any kind of thing that does knock back, you can knock the teams into the lava and the raider cannot do anything about it. I like that a lot. I usually put the main base down here and then the top area is usually used as like a hatchery or like dino storage kind of area with a turret wall built on it to defend the cave. But anyways, that is why this is it. Number five. Let's move on to number four. Coming at number 4, this is Castle Cave and it can be found on Valgaro. This can be found at 39.3 latitude and 88.1 longitude. I'm going to go ahead and rate this cave a 5, no, let, let's give it a 6 out of 10. Don't mind the sector right there, by the way. <laughs> but I'm giving this a 6 out of 10 because of how big the cave is. It is a little difficult to defend when building this thing. And it's just, there's so much to actually work with in this cave to really defend it. This top entrance, what I recommend doing is completely blocking that off, like just fully block it off, make no entrance to that top part, because that thing is the biggest weak spot of this whole thing. The bottom area, just be careful because they can actually raft raid that area. You need to be a little careful with that. But I usually put the main base up here, actually usually in the water, because rafts are a little weird in this cave. Like once you're in the cave, they're a little weird and you cannot actually place them down in that water right there. But the water down there you can place rafts in so you can raft raid that area so be careful i recommend using a hanging tower or some kind of thing so they cannot get up to the turret tower and then blow it up but anyways that is why i've rated that a six out of ten let's move on to number three coming in number three this is church cave and this can be found on scorched earth this can be found at 77.5 latitude and 75.7 longitude almost the exact same coordinate so it's very easy to remember where these are but anyways, I'm going to be giving this a 9 out of 10, only because they removed that little piece on the front. <laughs> if they still had that little piece there, it would 100% be a 10 out of 10, 100%. Just this cave is laid out insane. So with the turret limit on official, working with this cave is actually very simple to do, as it's mainly just one area to go down. 
and you can actually spread them out to cover all areas of this cave which I like a lot and then once you get back to the main area of the cave it's actually really nice to have it because to get down to the main area you have to jump over stuff and if you miss you die <laughs> that's what I like a lot similar to the lava cave you'll die this one you fall into a void and you can never get your stuff back so yeah it's it, it's great if you've never heard of this cave you're, there's a lot to learn about this cave this one's actually an artifact cave at the same time i believe it is an artifact cave don't quote me 100 percent on that not fully sure but there's a lot of uh things like insects in there that you really need to watch out for and this really i just i don't see any big issues with this cave there's just i, I really don't i don't really know what to say about this it's just amazing how everything's laid out the back area is great because you can actually yes yeah, so there is an artifact area okay good so back there you can actually build inside of that artifact area and it actually works for an amazing base and pretty cheap too because you don't really have to actually build a base all you do is build one wall you can build this whole thing with a huge platform and work very well with it and tons of dino storage and all of that but anyways let's move on to number two Coming at number two, this is Lunar Cave or Big Lunar Cave, and this can be found on Genesis. But anyways, this can be found at 39.9 latitude and 28.8 longitude. But similar to the smaller version of this cave, this one is just bigger. That's really about it. It has the same kind of water layout, same kind of structure layout as the smaller cave, but it is bigger, allowing for more dino storage and for bigger tribes. I would go ahead and rate this a 5 out of 10 on my personal opinion. Because there's two entrances, which means it's even harder to work with, this is the exact same entrance layout as the smaller one, though. And I did not do the smaller one because I know a lot. there's a lot of complaints with that one, so I just went for the bigger one on Genesis. But anyways, let's move on to number one. And finally, coming in number one, we have Dragon Cave, which can be found on Crystal Isles. This can be found at 48.5 latitude and 75.4 longitude. I'm going to go ahead and personally, on my full opinion... Give this a 7 out of 10. The biggest reason for that is because of this entrance. This bigger entrance is just... These ruins don't really help with building in this cave if you guys have built here before. Also, sorry for the brightness if it's a little low. I'm sorry about that. But it just... It's hard to work with because there's so many different areas in the cave. But overall, this is amazing because this is pretty much the only good cave on Crystal Isles. So I wanted to involve this in the list to should just show you guys what it actually truly looks like if you've never seen it before. There's just so many different areas to work with, and that is a huge issue. And then here's the second entrance over there. But up here, I like this a lot. They basically built out a base already for you, if that makes sense. Just got to clear out the debris and uh, build it and really work with it a little bit. This is only going to really work for unofficial, unfortunately. But anyways, that's going to sum up the video. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you're new. Help us hit 500 likes on this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also, if you guys want a part two or if you want another suggestion video from Friday, let us know down in the comments down below. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to go check out ARC 2 and peace out.